Now that we've reframed the way you look at upgrading AngularJS, let's take a look at your upgrade roadmap. There are four building blocks to upgrading your application to a modern AngularJS app using best practices. We're going to be covering all four of these in the coming modules using a sample application. The first building block is your file structure, which we'll be covering in module two. This involves getting all of your files in line with the AngularJS style guide. We want to have one file for each piece of our application, and we want all of our files organized by feature instead of by type. In module three, we'll be talking about your dependencies. The first thing we'll do in that module is move all of our dependencies to NPM. NPM is the de facto package manager for the JavaScript ecosystem now, and we'll need it as we continue on in the process. Once we're done with that, we'll be upgrading our version of AngularJS from 1.3 to 1.6. The third building block is your app architecture, which is module number four. In this module, we're going to be covering component architecture and converting all of our controllers and directives to components. Finally, we'll be walking through your build process. In module five, we'll be setting up TypeScript and Webpack to be able to use ES6 modules. And then in module six, we're really going to delve into Webpack and build out a robust production build. We're also going to cover how to set up Karma with Webpack. Once all those things are done, we'll be ready for the ng upgrade library. And that's where course one ends and course two begins. Now I'm going to be walking you through step by step, piece by piece, each of these building blocks in the coming modules with a sample application. However, once you've gone through the course, you should feel like you have the skills and knowledge to be able to rearrange the process for your own application and tailor it to your own needs. Your starting point matters with your application. For example, your application may already be using component architecture. It may already be using NPM. You may even be using Webpack already, but not TypeScript or component architecture. That's okay. You can mix and match your own approach based on your company's needs, your approach to technical debt, and the amount of time and disruption you're able to take for this process. Here's a little bit of a cheat sheet on each of the different pieces of this process and how much time and disruption they'll take. For example, changing your file structure is a very simple process. It's just a matter of moving some files around and updating some script tags. Moving your dependencies doesn't take a lot of time necessarily, but it really depends on how complicated your dependency structure is. App architecture does take a little bit of work. You have to go through and convert all of your controllers to components and all of your directives to components. However, you can do this completely iteratively over as much time as you need, so the disruption isn't too bad. The last two modules on the build process are the most challenging and the most disruptive. However, they also have the biggest payoff. Once you get the build process right, moving to ng upgrade is not nearly as challenging. So you'll want to set aside some dedicated time to be able to tackle implementing TypeScript and Webpack and then converting everything over to ES6 modules. I'm sure this feels like a lot looking at it from the big picture at the very beginning of the course. Luckily, I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly what you need to do for this process. So the goal is you can go through all of the videos in this course learn exactly the process that I recommend as if you're starting from scratch and then piece it together for your own application as you feel is best. And with that, let's get started. In the next video, I'm going to show you some documentation resources that you can have in your back pocket as we continue with these courses.